Welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Today I'm going to be doing New York strip steak. Now steaks was on sale in my local grocery store and I gave you kind of like a hint of what I was going to do in the last video. So let's get started. Here is the New York strip steak and I'm going to be doing it on the stove but I'm going to do it on an open grill. So I'll pan uh, sear it on top and I may stick it in the oven may not but I'll show you every step of the way now on this I'm going to use two things I'm going to use spectacular seasoning now in the spectacular seasoning you're gonna have salt garlic powder onion powder black pepper paprika celery seed and nutmeg if you want to just use those spices in order to get the same thing that i did it's just a light sprinkle sprinkle of each one on your steak or you can just use salt and pepper and you can let it go now i'm also going to use this lemon pepper because i like the flavor of lemon on my steak as well as butter those are two ingredients that I really love and I think that they make a fantastic steak now one of the ways that you can get a really good steak is not to cook your steak when it's frozen or when it's super cold you want to sit your steak out let it get room temperature you want to season it let it wait marinate for about 30 minutes then you want to go ahead and pop that baby on the grill and you will have the best steak now you can do it outside on the grill which is the way that i prefer or you can do it inside normally my choice in steak is always the ribeye it's always the ribeye and i like the bone in ribeye but today i'm going to be doing these new york strips because that's what was on sale now i did give you a little hint of the side dish because i made it in the last video and it was like a medley of onions and peppers green and red peppers this time i said i was going to put a little twist on it but this is a great twist if you've ever e ever eaten at croakers that's a fish uh, place that we go restaurant that we go to and we eat they always have this very good medley and I've always eaten it and I decided to cook it and I can make it just like they make it there so today I'm gonna give you a little insight on a good side dish we're gonna use bell peppers red peppers and onion I'm gonna throw in some mushrooms and the added ingredients to make this all come together and be very very tasteful is going to be brown sugar and apple cider vinegar and I'm telling you it is a good choice of a vegetable for any type of steak so I'm gonna go away get my steak prepared and I'll meet you at the grill on the stove be okay, right back now I'm at the grill and this is my grill my stove on grill and you can get these if you don't have one and you want to get these you can get these on amazon or any place like that and they're super cheap but i'm gonna go ahead and put my steaks on And I'm going to allow these to go ahead and cook. And I might just go ahead and cook them on top of the, uh, on top of this grill. Now I like my my steaks to be uh, medium well, so that means I like a little bit of pink uh, in my steak. Not a lot, but a little bit. And if you wanted yours well done, you can either cook it, you know, on this grill all the way through, or you can take them preset your oven for 375 or 400 preferably 400 and then put your steak in for if it's well done you would give it uh two minutes on top on both sides of this on the grill and then put it in the in the oven for another six minutes on 400 flipping it one time and you'll get your well done i don't do well done so it's going to be a little bit different than with this but this grill is hot enough where it's going to cook this steak just like I like it to perfection. And I'll bring it back when I get ready to flip it. Now, I'm also, over here, I have a little bit of olive oil as well as a little bit of butter. And I'm going to allow that to melt. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. After I add my onions, I'm going to add my mushrooms and my green peppers and red peppers at the same time. So I'll saute up my onions about four or five minutes. 
and then I'll add the rest of it. And once that all cooks to the color that I want it, then I'll add my brown sugar. And after that, I'll add my vinegar. So I'll bring you back when I get ready to add my onions and show you what this look like. At that time, it should be time for me to flip the steak. Okay, right I'm going to start to flip them over because I think it's about ready. And one thing that you don't want to do is pierce your steak. So use something that you don't have to pierce that meat with. That's why you see me using tongs. That way I don't want to pierce. And pierce just simply means I don't want to put a hole in it because my juices are going to flow out. Could have given that a little bit more time and I think this one really does need a little bit more time so yeah I'll give this a little bit more time and I'm going to reflip that one but these grills are really really nice I think that you you know if you purchase one I think that you really get your money's worth out of it I think they're about I don't know probably $24 in the store and this is the larger one and I think that's about $24 and the uh, one that's not quite this large I think it's a little bit less but it gives you the grill marks but the most important thing is the fact that you're cooking this on an open flame you're not actually cooking this you know where you got it covered and you're gonna kind of smother it like no you're not doing that you're cooking this open so I'm gonna go ahead and get these um, just all grilled up and I might finish them off in the oven and I might cook them on top of the stove but either way I will not cover them so I'll be right back. My butter is getting to the point where it's warming, and I'm going to show you exactly how to prepare this dish. Be right back. Okay, now my butter is a little bit browned, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my onion. And my steaks, if you can look over there, they're still cooking up really good. I've added some more. Now, with these onions, I'm going to allow, it, allow them just to saute up a little bit, three, four minutes, or really four or five minutes. And once they have sauteed up a little bit, then I'm going to add the green peppers and the onions, and I'll bring you back, and I'll show you that. And I do have my vent on. There you go. And I have some steaks that are stacked up here. really look good. Okay, so these are really like I like them. I got my oven on because I'm going to finish them off in the oven. Okay, so I'll bring it back and show you that. But meanwhile, dropped a few of my peppers in there. That's okay. I want these just to get limp. I'm not trying to cook them until they get super dark. That's not what I want. I just want them to get limp. And once they get limp, then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my other ingredients. So I'll bring you back when I get ready to do that. Be right back. Okay, so it's at this point that I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms. And I'm going to add my green peppers to this. All right, now all of my vegetables are in the pot. I'm going to allow this to cook for a little while, and then I'm going to add my vinegar and my sugar. I'll bring you back okay, for that. Okay, now I'm back, and it's at this point that I'm going to add my brown sugar, and as always, your uh, ingredients and how much measurement will be in the description box. Now, once I've added that brown sugar, then I'm going to go ahead, and as you can see, it's starting to really caramelize up the brown sugar is. This is a very good dish. You will really enjoy it. Then I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Now you can use just the regular white vinegar if you choose to, but the apple cider vinegar is far better. Now, I'm going to let all of the juices that you see in here, I'm going to let it boil out. And once it boils out, this will be ready. I'll make a plate, and I'll bring it back, and I'll meet you at the kitchen table. Now, these steaks, just want you to see them. They look really good, and I know they taste equally as well. That's one thing I don't ever want is I don't want a tough steak. 
I really don't. And like I told you, my steak of choice is going to always be the ribeye. But I'm going to work this New York today. Okay, so they're ready and they're just waiting on the rest of the meal. So once I get through with this, I'll bring you right back. Be right back. Okay, there it is. Chris is making New York strip steak on the in-house grill. And I'm making the medley with the onions, red and green pepper. I think that if you try this, you are truly going to love it. These are one-inch steaks, and I can't wait to tear into it. I'm going to see if I can cut just a little piece of this. That's the way you want your steak to be, okay? I'm sorry because I still have to take a picture. So when you see the picture and a piece of the steak is missing, then you'll know that that's the piece that Chris ate. Okay. There it is right there. Man, that is some kind of good. And I'm going to truly enjoy this. I'm telling you, I am truly going to enjoy this. But that's what I'm preparing today is the steak and the onion medley. Okay, don't forget to try this. I think if you do, you're going to truly enjoy it. And don't forget to check out my site. The new site is justincooking.com. A whole lot of things for the kitchen. I think that you could really use some. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you too. Bye. Bye.